Okay. Now let's go to how we calculate CRA now. So there are three methods of calculating CRA. The first method is using the life of mind basis. And uh, this is uh, the paragraph two of the fifth schedule. Then we can use the new mind basis or the current basis. This is in terms of paragraph four, eight and four, four of the same fifth schedule. And then we have uh, mixed basis in terms of paragraph 4.2 and 4.3 of the same fifth schedule. So in an examination as a setup, if you are now told that this particular minor elects the provisions of paragraph 2 of the fifth schedule to the Income Tax Act, are you going to know that they are referring to the life of mine? <laughs> that will be terrible. But anyway, we do have these three methods. So a taxpayer can just choose one of these. But there is another one. There is out of these three, there is one that is that is said if once you choose it, you can never then say, ah oh, no, no, I no longer want to use this one. But the other ones you can actually shift. To say, ah, no, no, I no longer want to use this one. And let me use this one. But we'll see as we go. So we said we have three left mine, new mine, and mixed basis. Okay. Then, now let's start with the life of mine. So life of mine, we have two uh, scenarios. For life of mine, we can have life of mine, the taxpayer is the owner. In life of mine, the taxpayer is not the owner of the mine. Uh, you are actually renting the mine. So we start with the life of mine method where the taxpayer is the owner of the mine. So we said the method is available without variation to mine owners, both companies and individuals. The taxpayer is to submit an estimate of the life of mine. Okay, so this life of mine um, isn't we did the life of mine estimation earlier on. So this statement is not new because we said the taxpayer has to submit the estimate of the life of mine if he is to use this method. We saw that earlier. The lifespan of a mine is based on the certified all reserves in each year and subject to restrictions. In paragraph one, we already talked about this restriction, the restriction to say if it is a gold, gold mine, if it is an iron mining company, the restriction is five years. If it is lead and zinc, the restriction is 10 years. All other mine minerals, gold, platinum, diamond, the restriction is 20 years. Okay. A new estimate of the life of mine is required for each year of assessment. The estimate is revised annually. So you don't say because we, we we estimated the life to be 20 years in 2018. So by virtue, we are left with uh, 17 years because we are now in 2021. No, you have to estimate it every year or annually. Then the annual provision of life does not have a retrospective effect. Okay, by this one, for, for you accountants, of course, I expect you to understand this. By retrospective, we are saying, okay, let's say in 2018, we said the life of mine is 20 years. But come 2021, because we do have other information of the, 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 the estimate is now 30 years. We don't therefore say, ah, oh, let's go to 2020 and then adjust. Deem as if the 30 years was estimated in 2018. No, 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 no. We don't. We don't have a retrospective effect here. We just say, okay, the 30 years is 2021. So we apply 30 years in 2021. Maybe next year we, uh, we estimate the life of mine to be 10 years. So we don't have a retrospective adjustment uh, when it comes to the revision of the life of the mine. Okay, so how do we calculate the CRA using this method, the life of mine? We say the initial CRA in the first productive year is calculated by. So what we say is um, 
let me go back to the assignment a little bit. I want to show you something, okay? So as you can see from the assignment, we had 2020, 2020, and in 2020, we were actually incurring capital expenditure, these ones, uh, okay, these ones, but we didn't have any income from our mining operations. So for the, for the mineral, pro, for the mining provision, we say, no, no, we should carry forward these expenditures to the net to, uh, until we have income from our mining operations. So we just say in 2021, we carried forward 6,132,900. So this one in 20 this one is coming from 2020 is it so in 2021 we call it unredeemed we call it unredeemed balance of capital expenditure so if you say UBCE we are talking about this the expenditure the capital expenditure that is being carried forward from priors it has not been yet uh, allowed as a deduction. It's still unredeemed. Okay. So here when we are saying uh, the crowd will be using the life of mind basis, the crowd will be calculated as follows. We say we aggregate the pre-production capital expenditure to the current year capital expenditure. So this, the pre-production capital expenditure, we are talking about the unredeemed balance of capital expenditure from 2020. We add the capital expenditure for the current year. Then we, we deduct the recoupment. If we have any recoupment, we deduct. Then after that, we divide whatever that we got by the life of mine. So as time goes, the life of mine, we just say LO, OM, recoupment, we just say RE, that stands for recoupment. Then for unredeemed uh, balance of capital expenditure, we say UBCE. Then for the current year capital expenditure, we just say CE or CCEE. -E. Okay. So any recruitment from capital expenditure is set off against unredeemed balance of capital expenditure brought forward in the current year expenditure before calculating the CRA for the year. Okay, so uh, recruitment is only text where there is net recruitment after such net off. Okay, so as you can see here, um, by this one, we are saying, let's say the, I can't see my case now. Let's say the, if we aggregate the unredeemed balance of capital expenditure and we add it to the current year capital expenditure, then the answer is uh, $100. And recruitment is uh, 80 So the answer here will be 20. Then we divide this by maybe we say five years. So our graph for this year will be only four dollars. That will be our graph. But let's say, let's say the recruitment is actually a 120 year. If the recruitment is 120, that means uh, if we say 100, our uh, aggregated UBCE and CCE uh, is 100 and the recruitment is 120, that means we actually have the excess of 20. Recruitment is more than our capital expenditures by 20. That means this one becomes gross income, isn't it? That is how we tax recruitment. This is different from what you know from, from those prior, uh, your prior experiences in the recruitment. We just know that it is included as, as gross income.
But the way we tax recovery mining, we actually don't like include it as a gross income. We should net it off from capital uh, expenditures. But if now the recruitment is more than capital expenditures, that's when we deduct it becomes gross income uh, visibly. I hope it makes sense. Maybe you understand it by way of an example. As we go, we do have a comprehensive example uh, on the next few slides. Okay. Then let's summarize life of mine. So that is it. This is the definite. This is the um, the the formula. We say the unredeemed balance of capital expenditure. We deduct recoupment. We add current capital expenditure. Current year capital expenditure. Everything. Then we divide it by the life of mine. This is how we calculate the CRA using the life of mine basis. Okay, so we said the method applies to owners of mines, individuals, or companies. Then capital expenditure incurred prior to production and the current capital expenditure is aggregated. The total is then divided by the life of mine. Therefore, CRA is equal to UBCE minus RE plus CCE divided by LOMO. The remaining balance after claiming CRA constitutes UBC to be used in the computation of CRA in the following year. Of course, of course, let's say this one, after we say UBC minus CE plus uh, CCE, maybe we got again 100 here. And when we divided it by the life of mine, let's say five, life of mine was only five years, so if you say 100 divided by 5, we will get uh, 20. So this one will rank as CRA in, 20, in the current year. But isn't uh, our capital expenditure qualifying for deduction were 100? But this one will only granted 20. So we have a difference of 80. This 80 will be our unredeemed uh, uh, balance of capital expenditure in the following year. Okay, that's what we mean by this statement that is saying, this statement that is saying, the remaining balance after claiming CRA constitutes and redeemed balance of capital expenditure to be used in the computation of CRA in the following year. A company which is not the owner of the mine can claim an allowance as fixed by the Commissioner General, as considered to be fair and reasonable, such as we and tier. We are saying a company which is not the owner of the mine can claim an allowance as fixed by the. So we said this may, the life of mine is only available to owners of the mine. We will explain this later. Any individual who is the owner can alternatively claim an allowance considered by the commissioner is fair and reasonable. An individual who is not the owner of the mine can claim an allowance considered by the just repeating the same thing. Okay, so this is basically the conceptual framework. What do we do when we are using the life of mine of mine method per the paragraph two of the fifth schedule? We start with the unredeemed balance of capital expenditure, UBCE. We less recruitment. Then after less recruitment, we add current year capital expenditure. Uh, then if we have other recruitments left, we can less it again here. Then after that, we divide it by the life of mine. That is the conceptual framework. Okay. Then, uh, how do we determine the UBCE to be carried forward to the next year? Uh, this one, uh, that, that is the, same, the, exact, the, the thing that I was explaining here to say we say capital expenditure minus CRA for the current year, then the difference will be the unredeemed. Uh, balance of capital expenditure. So, uh, so here our capital expenditure was 100 and our CRA was 20 and we ended up having 20 and we say the, 20, the 80 will be our UBCE for the next year. Okay. Okay, what about the life of mine method where the taxpayer is actually not the owner of the mine? 
So we said there is no life of mind method where the taxpayer is not an owner. Rather, the allowance that is going to be allowed will be will be that an allowance that is just considered by the, the commission general to be fair and reasonable. Okay, so when the non-owner miner is a company and leases or tri tributes the mine, aggregate current uh, capital expenditure is spread over the shorter of life of mine or lease tribute period. When the non-owner miner is an individual, this is the case with most small-scale miner, TP, the taxpayers are allowed the full cost, 100% of the shaft sinking and other mine development costs, lease premiums and pre-production expenditure. Then an allowance based on either period or lease or 20% wear and tear on buildings, plant equipment and, and vehicles. Then NB, where an extensive program of shaft sinking has been undertaken by the small-scale miner, such costs shall be spread over the lease period. Okay, uh, that is uh, self-explanatory. Okay, now before we go to the next method, the new mind method, just want to see if we have questions. Do we have questions on the life of mind? Should know that this is paragraph two of the fifth schedule. That one should sing it because the, the the examiner will just say, okay, the taxpayer elects paragraph two of the fifth schedule. So you should know that it's the life of mine. If they they say paragraph four four of the fifth schedule or four eight of the fifth schedule, you know that is the current basis. If they now say paragraph four two of the fifth schedule, you should just know that it's the mixed basis. So, uh, do we have questions or do I still have people? Anyone to confirm? Because I can't see really from the screen. Uh, Joseph, mm -hmm. are we going to get like uh, the, 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 this, uh, this, uh, this recording? Yes, uh, for this recording, I am going to actually upload it on YouTube and the slides I'm also going to give you. But the next recordings, I'm not going to upload them. Ah, okay. Uh, they will be they will be in my video. Yes, I can give you the link, but YouTube, you know, is is public. But if, if they are in my video, then the one who can only uh, uh, access them is the one who has the link. Okay. So let's go to the new mind basis which is also known as the current basis. What is it all about? This method applies regardless of whether the miner owns or releases, tributes the mine. So this one, we said the life of mine applies to owners of the mine, whether individual or companies, but this one is available to everyone, whether you are the owner or you are leasing, you are tributing the mine. The new mine uh, method is the new mine is one which started production on or after 1 April 1968 or it resumed operations after having closed down or on or after the same date or changed ownership and has been reorganized with substantial new plant and development on or after the same date. So this is the definition. What goes to a new mine? It should have started on or after 1 April 1968. The election is made in the year of production on the new mine uh, uh, when the new mine starts. The aggregate of the pre-production uh, capital expenditure plus current year expenditure is allowed in full in the, product, in the year when production commences net of recruitment if any so you now see the difference here we are just saying the ubce plus ce minus r the amount that you are going to get there will be your crap you are not dividing by the lom lom the life of my the life of mine so this one will just allow everything ubce plus ce minus r 
the amount that you are going to get there will be uh, your crap. So from our example, we had UB, uh, CE, uh, from our previous example, it was, um, okay. Uh, let's say our UB, CE is 100. And in the current year, we have another 100. And then recruitment, we have uh, 50. So that means, we say 100 plus 100, 200 plus 50, minus 50, that's uh, 150. We don't divide by this 150, becomes our graph. This one is simple, the simplest of all, very simple, available to everyone, very simple to calculate. Okay, so this is the framework, unredeemed balance, our UBCE minus recoupment, then current uh, expenditure, then we have our crap. By using this one, we don't carry forward any unredeemed uh, balance of capital expenditure. Then let's do the mixed basis. Once a miner elects this method, it cannot be changed. Okay. So that is the one, the, the, the method, the basis that I was talking about. If you are going to elect this to use the mixed mind basis, you can never change it. So this one is just a mixture of uh, of those, the, the first two, the life of mine and the current basis. So what do you do? You say U, B, C, E minus R. Minus R E R E R is the recoupment. Then you divide these two by the life of mine. Then you add C E. You see the difference now. Just just flexing the formulas. U B C E minus R divided by L O L M. Then plus C E. This one is simple. And then the the mechanics of mixed mine basis is like this. You just say the UBCE that, that, that this will be uh, the pre production expenses, then we deduct recoupment, then uh, we get YY, then we divide YY by the life of mine, then we add current capital expenditure. So, in this case, current capital expenditure is not divided. In the life of mine, we're dividing the net of UBCE plus CE minus R. But in this case, we are saying UBCE minus R, we divide by left mind, then we add CE, the current capital expenditure, after dividing uh, the, uh, the UBCE minus CE minus uh, RE. Okay, uh, this one is simple. Okay, so today we are just going to do this quiz. And we are done for today. We're almost done with the mining. So now it's 21.37. We just need uh, those remaining minutes to just to do this example so that you see what we are talking about. So what is the example saying? The example is saying, Empowerment Limited has been in the hotel business for years. In 2020, in 2020 it ventured into mining and began producing minerals in 2021. The life of mine is estimated at four years on 31 December 2021. The following expenses were incurred in 2020. So we incurred expenditure on buildings, plant, shaft, sinking, admin expenses. In 2021, which is the current year, the company sold uh, minerals worth 20 million. Admin expenses were 3 million and a machine was bought for 4 million. The hotel's arms tax sale income for 2021 has been calculated to be 5 million. Then calculate the tax sale income for the company 21 using each of the three bases of calculating CRA. So this is simple, guys. Now let's do it practically. Okay, so let me just open my Excel so that I can be doing the calculations uh, practically. Okay, so my Excel, my Excel, my Excel, my Excel, my Excel, my Excel, my Excel. Just a minute. Yeah. 
there are a lot of add-ins in v6 so that's why it's taking forever to open but anyway it's almost done it's almost done almost done almost done almost done okay so how, how many ways do we have we have we have uh, life of mine new mine and mixed basis okay so we have the details details then the first one is a uh, life of mine basis then the second one is um uh, current basis then the third one is um next basis okay so this is what we have guys i hope you can see clearly can you see clearly hello yes all right we can all right so let's calculate the u b c e under all this method uh, under all this method so we know that uh we started uh development in 2020 and in 2020 we incurred which costs we incurred two million on buildings two million okay so it was uh buildings we get million uh-huh Oh, the Excel. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Can you make it a bit bigger? I can't. I can't. Yeah. What about now? Yes. You can now see. I, I can see now. All right, that's fine. Okay, so in 2020. I, I can see now, Thank you. All right, all right. In 2021, we had buildings, then we had plants. Hmm. Plant it's uh one million. One million. Then we also had shaft singing. A shaft singing it was uh, five hundred. Then we have admin expenses. These are these were all incurred in 2020. So even if they are not really capital in nature, we deem them to be capital in nature for mining purposes. These admin fees, admin expenses. Okay, so that's what we have here. We say two one five two point five. That's what we have here. So under the uh, the life of uh, the the um, life of mine, we are going to say the sum of we are going to add all this six million. I think the formula is just the same. E, uh, let me say the sum of uh, this one. Then. Under the mixed basis, mixed basis, do we have any recruitment? Because we don't have any recruitment. So let me again put the def, uh, the. Okay. So this is a uh, balance brought forward from 2020. Okay. So these were the expenditures in 2020. Do we have any recruitment? We are not, we're not told about any recruitment. So what will be um, the UBCE that we are going to use in our calculations in 2021? Of course, because the life of mine, we say we said what about the life of mine? The life of mine, we say we should add uh the life of mine we said we should add the u bce plus re 
minus uh, uh, we say the u b c e plus c e minus r and then r is zero here uh, let's just uh, put our current capital expenditure in 2021 okay so in 2021 what do we have in 2021 we are told that in 2021, the company sold the minerals worth 20 million, admin expenses were 3 million. These are not capital in nature, and a machine was bought for 4 million. So we actually have 4 million. So our current capital expenditure is 4 million. Okay, so it's 4 million under all oh, these ones, it's 4 million. Okay, now let's calculate our CRA. What does our CRA say? Under the life of mine, we say we say the unredeemed uh, balance we add. Okay, this is four million, not forty million. Okay, all right. So under the life of mine, we say we will say the the UBCE plus the CCE. Then we deduct the government. So this one becomes our CRA using the life of mine basis. What about the current basis? The current basis we just say we just say uh, the UBCE plus CE minus recoupment. Okay, I need to remove an extra zero here and also an extra zero here. Okay, this one we should have divided uh, by four. Uh, okay. Let's let's revise the life of mine. The life of man we said we should divide by by the life of mine isn't. My slides is not showing. I don't know why. Okay, the life we are told that uh, what is the estimated useful life? Yeah, I want also you to take note of this one. He's saying the estimated. Let me highlight this one. It's very important. the The life of mine is estimated to be four years on thirty one December twenty twenty one. So for our calculation purposes, we are going to use five years because this estimate is as at year end of which we are assessing the current year. So we are going to use five years. Please take note of that one. Okay, so this one we said, uh, let me redo the calculations. We said it will be the UBCE plus the CCE minus the recoupment, then everything is divided by five. So this one becomes our uh, our CRA for 2021. Then this one is okay. We say it's just the UBCE plus CCE minus this one. Then the mixed basis, we said it will be the UBCE minus the recoupment, then you divide by the life of mine, then whatever that we get here, we add the current year capital expenditure, which becomes this one. Okay, so this one becomes our CRA. After getting CRA is simple. Now let's let's say uh, gross sales of minerals. You are told that they made so twenty million. And this one there, it's applicable to every method. Then we will say less. <clears throat> what are we lessing? The first one, it will be our CRA. And we are just going to say minus this one, minus this one, minus this one. Okay. Then do we have other expenses? admin expenses now we are talking about the current the after production admin expenses we are told that they are um, three million three so let's say minus three million okay do we have any other uh, deductions no so Taxable income from mining operations. Now we're just going to say the minerals 
minus CRA minus admin expenses. Then we copy the formula to these ones. After that, we do have uh, we also have taxable income from other sources. Taxable income from hotel. I told that the taxable income from hotel is uh, five million. So five million. Okay, so total taxable income, I'm now just going to add the two, this one plus this one. Okay, so this is it, guys. This is how we practically um worked on the three methods the life of mine basis the the, the current basis and also the mixed basis this is the typical example so we can have our uh, i hope that i did put the answer yes the answer is here so we do have this is the answer so you can always refer to the answer so tomorrow when we meet uh, we are going to start with the recruitment and though we do the other things so we finish mining maybe tomorrow so i like that we finish tomorrow i'll try to again compile other more practical questions so that you'll be more comfortable in answering these questions these mining questions okay so do we have i'll give you the slides after we are complete we are done with the topic so do we have questions